guys, it's another uh, session of your Pathé Baller. This time, we will be talking about Utah Jazz going up against Minnesota Timberwolves. So, alam naman natin, magkaiba din yung nangyari sa first game sa itong dalawang teams na to. Utah Jazz won their first game. Uh, they were up uh, They were up against um, Portland Trailblazers, but they took care of Portland easily. Um, they won by uh, 20 points, I guess it was. Um, let me double check. Yeah, 20 points, 120 to 100. While Minnesota... Uh, no, 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 sorry. Minnesota Timberwolves won. I'm sorry about that. So both teams won. Um, but Minnesota Timberwolves went up against uh, Detroit Pistons. Um, they won by, I guess, 10 points. They won by 10 points. Uh, but the story here is that it was a comeback. Um, majority of the game, Detroit Pistons yung lamang. Uh, at humabo lang itong... Um, um, Minnesota, uh, Minnesota Timberwolves at uh, they won by 10 points. Um, they were led by Ken Carl Anthony Towns with 23 points, 11 rebounds, and 7 assists. Uh, so grabe, siya yung naglead para uh, makapanalo ng Minnesota Timberwolves against a weak Detroit team. So who's going to win this one? It's easy. As a matter of fact, if we would check the spread, the spread is too high. Um, it's minus 8 Utah Jazz plus 8 Minnesota because if we would stick with math um, Utah Jazz defeated Portland Trail Blazers and obviously Portland Trail Blazers is a stronger team compared to uh, Minnesota. In Minnesota, they went up against Detroit. At hirap na hirap pa sila sa Detroit, ha? Huh? Uh, Montic pa talaga silang matalo sa dulo na lang nag napagod na sila, sila Blake Griffin doon uh, to, to keep the lead and doon na lang talaga umalago itong Minnesota Timberwolves and they got the, they got the lead, they got the win um, but uh, if you're if you're a team and if you're, go, if you're a team like this you have the number one pick you have Carl Anthony Towns and then you were going up against Detroit Pistons kailangan, tambakan mo na lang, pisa pa lang eh. um, so I really have some, I really have a lot of doubts uh, sa kaya na ng Minnesota Timberwolves at this early um Although Anthony Edwards uh, did a decent job with 15 points in number one pick, um, the numbers show that Utah can easily dispose of them. All right. Another thing is yung uh, mga iba pang factors. And yan yung challenge, di ba? Um, Donovan Mitchell, as we all know, he's one of the best players there is now in the, in the NBA. Uh, plus, they have Rudy Gobert who is one of the best defensive players naman. So, may gigil factor yan pagka ayan ba yung number one pick? Okay, so if you're Donovan Mitchell, you're one of the best, uh, medyo may challenge sa'yo yan. Sige, pap, tignan nga natin sa ito. Uh, and of course, you would also want to score in front of him. You'd want to show them what you could do. And if you're Rudy Gobert as well, hindi mo na nahayaan basta drumayo yan. Halos sa buhulo mo lahat ng tira niyan, halos gusto mong buta tayo number one pick ka pala. You know? We all know that. If you're playing basketball, may ganyan. Lalo na yung bata, na alam mong magaling. Of course, you don't want him to score right in front of you. And of course, you would want... Um, gusto mo magpakilala, sabi nga nila. So, ganun, may, may ganun factor pa. Plus, simply put, mas malakas lang talaga yung Utah sa Minnesota. So, I'm picking Utah Jazz on this. This one should be easy. Uh, medyo, sa totoo lang, mataas yung minus 8. But, considering the fact na, yung nga sinabi ko kanina, tinambakan nila yung Portland Trail Blazers ng Bente, Jordan Clarkson is uh, on fire right now sa three-point shooting niya. And uh, Minnesota, medyo hindi pa nila siguro figured out din pa paano maging uh, okay na team kasi bago pa nga lang din naman si Anthony Edwards sa kanila, I think kaya ng Utah Jazz yung minus A. So my suggestion and my prediction is Utah Jazz money line. If you would want to pick the minus, then pick Utah Jazz minus A. Responsible Gaming, Please subscribe to our channel. Please like our page. It's also called Passe Baller para makapag-messenger uh, tayo kung meron kayong questions. Peace out. Passe love. Love you.